Hello everyone, welcome back to Pastoron Plays Star Tropics. Out in the ocean here, heading into chapter 4. You should also note that uh, Windows Update reset my settings again, so we've been playing around with that for like, oh, I don't know, the entirety of yesterday. Hopefully everything is pretty much the same. Big as a whale, okay. That's nice, honey. Alrighty. Sensing a theme in this village. Sushi cola, really? That's like a drink that would be in Japan. Tuna cola, okay. That's also... Tuna cola sounds disgusting. Hmm, Salmon sailing from Sea Island, looking for me. Rolling on his raft, Babu? Is that you, buddy? Well, let's go see if we can find him. Said he was rowing to the east. I wouldn't recommend just rowing out in a raft, but... Just head straight east to see if we can find our buddy. Um... Oh, dear. Well... Yeah, welcome to chapter 4. There's actually no combat in this chapter. What's up, buddy? What are you doing down here? I remember you. Uncle was kidnapped. Huge flying ship. Southern Cross, of course. Find a way out of this fish with bad taste. I'll make him sneeze. We'll build a fire. You're gonna light your raft on fire, buddy? Does that mean you're gonna come on my submarine? So, the whole goal of this level is to find Babu's lighter. Now, this whole place is basically one big maze. Um... And essentially, the best way I can explain how to get through here is you kind of want to stay to the outside edge to an extent, um, if that makes sense. But also at the same time, don't exit the submarine until um, you're all the way back around. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so I think it's this one. You come over here. There's actually kind of a, a mean trick towards the end of this level in that there is a false wall you have to go through, but it's not indicated whatsoever. So you might think that you're stuck, but uh, yeah, right here. It's actually a false wall right here. Can you go with both of them? No, it has to be this tile. Now this here you don't want to go into because it uh, is a dead end. Or not a dead end necessarily, but it takes you back around. And if we come over this way, we will find a lighter. Now you can actually walk here from this north path, and then you'll hit the fish bones, which will stop you, and you'll be very sad. I'm kind of amazed that I remember how to get through here. And then we just hop down in here, and this is a shortcut um, back to the beginning. Now, I can't remember if it's... No, it's down first. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. And we are back to Babu with the lighter. Sure. Yeah, let's just light your raft on fire. Um... That doesn't seem safe. <laughs> a good life lesson. Evil aliens from a distant planet. Tell Mike to dip my letter in water. Now this is a huge thing that tripped up a lot of people when they were younger, especially if they happened to rent this game. 
Uh, yes, I do understand. So, uh, the interesting thing, and I don't have a clip of it, um, since this was changed in the Virtual Console release, uh, but basically the entire idea here is this is actually copy protection. Um, the game came with a letter, you know, a physical letter, and you had to physically dip that letter in water and it popped up a secret message. And the secret message tells you the code that you need to continue with the game. Now in the Virtual Console release, there's actually apparently a little animated letter that um, goes, and I mean, like, if you don't have this, you're not getting past this point. Uh, you could sit here and guess the number uh, in, for days, but the coordinates or the frequency is 747. Alrighty. Now we're gonna go look for Dr. J. And that was the entirety of chapter four. It's a very short chapter. So, we need to get through here, but it's blocked by this giant ship. I can't remember... Must be, a uh, something hidden here, right? I definitely feel like I've missed a whole bunch of big hearts. Really? Is there no secret here? Hmm, I guess not. Bell Cola, okay. Captain Bell. British Captain Bell. Second oldest in all the islands, 128 years old. Lady, who the hell's the oldest then? I happen to notice that. Miso, my bell, miso. So that is actually a really important hint. And is how you have to eventually solve the puzzle in this chapter. Oh, okay. Hello, friend. Hey, it's, uh, Island of Luigi, kind of. Got a letter by Carrier Pigeon. Give you the secret of the strait. Uh, no. No secret, no chat. Oh, no! He actually kicks me out of the conversation. Yeah, I suppose. 1680. Captain Bell, the Island Father. Need the help of Peter. Okay. Who the hell's Peter? Well, let's see if we can go find whoever. That was very rude, Mr. Man. Let's see if we can go find Peter. Oh, must be Peter the Parrot. Hi. No gift, no chat. Yeah? Well, fine. Be that way. Now, I think... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotcha. I gotcha, Napcom. I think we might have to go around... This way? I may be totally wrong about this. But I think we have to travel around here to get the present for... Peter Parrot. There's a little whirlpool here. Hi there! Hook the Fishing Master, uh, sure. 
early bird catches the worm and fish too. Here's a fresh worm for us. Oh, goody. I'm pretty sure that's what Peter needs. Is there anywhere else I can go here right now? I feel like the answer to that is yes. But maybe not. Yeah, this, this will place the kind of trick. I think I need to uh, go back to Peter first, though, before I do any of that. It does mean we have to kind of do this little laborious maze sequence here. Yes, yes, Navcom. I am well aware, my friend. At least we get the nice soothing island music. So hopefully, Peter will now give me some information. We're relying on a parrot here. There you go, buddy. Good morning, Captain Bell. Do me so far, do me. That would be dough, actually. Don't me you know what? I better write this down because I am totally gonna forget the solution to this. So me so Ba Do Me. So, if we go back here, Navcom's gonna talk to us again. And then we will have uh, probably what is going to be an extremely embarrassing sequence as I forget how music skills work. Um, if you haven't figured out somewhat obvious uh, implications of, you know, it's not do me so far, it's do me so far. Um, however, there's a really good chance that uh, I'm gonna mess up the pattern. Yeah, so we gotta go this way, and I don't think there's any... There we go. Peter's great-grandpa was Captain Bell's pet parrot. I did not know that. So, we have this fire here. Obviously, we can't pay it past. Now, let me think about this for a moment. Do I...? Yeah. Okay. ways. Oh, it's not going to actually tell me the other notes. Okay, I thought it was actually going to list each note. Um, I was going to double check. Let me reset the puzzle here, just because I think I might have might have to do that. Alright, so it's uh, Do Me So Ba, do, me. Yeah, there we go. So, if we go downstairs here, uh, are there any hidden passageways here? Now, it looks like this is an empty room, right? Like, it tells us one call- this one block is slightly discolored. And there's a big heart here. 
Which is also nice because it gives you that refill too. It also means we have a little more buffer for the shooting star, which is extremely important. And into the cave we go, which is the next dungeon. So we will continue next time and do this dungeon. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Big click like helps a bunch, and I'll see you soon.